fear. That means Allah wants us to look at the heaven and see what is it that Allah is talking about the heaven. The heaven has so many parts. It is one of the most wonderful design that Allah has given mankind with all these canopies and stars and comets and asteroids and galaxies and quantum and quasars that are permeating all the horizon in the celestial. That is the heaven. But I want to draw your attention. You see, on earth, so Allah asked a question. Antum ashaddu halikin. Ami sama banaha. Rafa asamkaha wasawaha. Are you more difficult to create than the heaven he raised? Halaka samawati bigayri amadin tarawnaha. Look at this space here. This is pillar. One, two, three. What? To hold this small little space here? How much we spend here? Allah said, Halaka samawati bigayri amadin tarawnaha. As you can see. In the Quran, halaka samawat wal ard. Samawat wal ard, meaning Allah created the heaven before the earth. You created the ground. Allah said, No, I created the heaven before the earth. How can you create something to suspend? To show you His power and magnificence. He said, Halaka samawat wal ard. Samawat wal ard. There's no pillar also. Bigari Ahmadin Tarunaha, as you can see. We have nine planets in the solar system. Nine. So far that we know. The huge, the biggest of them all is Jupiter. Jupiter is so huge. It's a gaseous planet. But do you know how many times the Earth will fit inside Jupiter? 1,400 times. Jupiter is a planet just like the Earth. But the Earth, the Earth that we live in, you need 1,400 Earths to fit inside Jupiter. Jupiter is huge. Science don't know how many moons does Jupiter has. Some say 12, some say 9. They don't know. It's too huge. It is suspended as we are suspended. So generally we think that we are on the ground. No, there is no ground. We are all suspended. You look at the moon, oh, look at the moon. If you're on the moon, say, oh, look at the earth. We are all suspended. So if, you, if there is no force of gravity and you begin to fall, you keep on falling in the outer space for billions of years, there's no ground. We are all suspended by virtue of what? The gravity, the gravitational forces. That is what keep us together. If Allah remove it, we keep on falling. We keep on falling and falling for million years no ground there is nothing like ground we just we just hanging around on the earth gravity make us if you throw something it, it's got to come down the force of gravity some stars and planet don't have you know gravity like jupiter they don't have no you can't even live on jupiter because it doesn't have all the attribute to make it possible for you and me and plants and animals to strive so jupiter is big imagine 1400 jupiter is huge all right, now that we understand how big Jupiter is, let's see how small is Jupiter compared to the sun, our sun. Let's suppose the stadium here, the national stadium. Let's suppose the arena inside is the sun. Jupiter will be like one basketball in the pitch. So where is Jupiter? Where is Jupiter? So how many basketball will fit inside the complex where they play the soccer? If that complex is the sun, Jupiter will fit nothing inside. Yet Jupiter will take in the earth 1,400 times. It's too huge. Made, sun made with two elements, hydrogen and helium and few other galactic dust. These three elements make up the sun. And all of them begin with H. Hydrogen is H-E. Helium is H. Shams ha ha. It all ends with H-E. H-E ha ha. Is it coincidence? That is the miracle that boggles the mind of man. That mankind cannot quantify how big the universe and the greatness of the celestial. Allah said, the heaven. Think about the heaven. Inna bi halki samawati wal ard. 
واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأول الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في هلك السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت خازا باطلا سبحانك فكنا عذاب الله in the creation of the heaven and the earth and the alternation of night and day are indeed signs for those who reflect who think who rationalize who process information intellectuals Allah is talking about men of knowledge so now that we know that Jupiter is nothing let's see how big is the Sun that we are the Sun you know we live on a galaxy called the Milky Way galaxy the Milky Way galaxy have more than 500 billion other sun, our sun, over four to 500 billion other sun in the Milky Way. So how can you find Jupiter? How can you even find the sun if you are in, Jup if you are in uh, Milky Way? Subhanallah. Our neighbor galaxy, we live in the Milky Way galaxy, our neighbor galaxy is called Galaxy Andromeda MX. It is 5.3 light years away. Subhanallah. Our neighbor, my neighbor is the Sheikh here. Our neighbor galaxy is 5.3 light year. And each light year is 6 trillion miles. So 6 trillion times 5.3, whatever number you have, is the nearest galaxy. How can you quantify this? That's what Allah said. لا حلق السماوات والأرض أكبر من حلق الناس ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون. Most of mankind do not know. The galaxy is powerful, emitting radiations. Okay, beside the galaxy, we have something called. It's also a galaxy, but it is over billion trillion times bigger than the galaxy the quantums each quantum contain hundreds of thousands of galaxies around it like a bunch of grape we call it cluster super cluster clusters are much bigger than galaxy each cluster you know imagine a bunch of grape and make it to be a cluster how many grapes around it a lot those grapes represent one galaxy so if you are in the cluster where can you find your galaxy where can you find the Sun where can you find the earth where can you find Africa nowhere nothing 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 infinitesimal then we have super cluster then we have promodal matters then we go back man we go back to the Big Bang Theory itself. So clearly, Allah protected it. Because had Allah will, there are so many, you know, planets, quantums and quasars, asteroids and comets that have lost their energy moving at the speed of light in the horizon. They're moving at the speed of light, billions of them. Speed of light is 186.3 thousand miles per second. That is like me going to the United States over 10,000 times within one second. Is it possible? How can I go to the United States 10,000 times within one second? It's beyond our thinking. If you think, your brain will explode. Our last creation is so serious. So Allah protected all these things so we don't see. If Allah allow one cosmic, cosmic ray that have lost their energy, millions of them, once they get to our earth, Allah will send them back to where they came from, allow all the good radiation to come in for our own benefit. Allah protected it. We are protected from bombardment of all these elements. Yet, we don't worship Allah, yet we take it for a jest. All these things indicate the power and magnificence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It does. There is a man, a scientist by the name um, Van Allen, Professor Van Allen. He specialized on atmospheric pressure. He was the first to theorize that 
there is a belt protecting the earth atmosphere as a whole you know we are protected with a belt but those belts you can see that it is sensor some mechanism to be able to beam in the heaven and to see that they are a deliberate you know a, a, a protective layer allah have set for so that we don't get bombardment if allah allow one single entity to come stampede finish we're gone so allah said waja'anna samaa saqfan mahfuzan wa hum an ayatiha mughdhirun we set up in the heaven a protected layer for you, safe and well guiding you. Yet you playing games with my ayats. I put the messenger Muhammad Sallam in the desert, right in the Quran. I'm gonna write in my Quran, Jannah Sama so that uh, the world will know. You have to be an ingenious physicist, astrophysicist. This is quantum mechanics, quantum numbers. How could the messenger know that he said there is a protective layer guiding us? Protected. How could he know? But this is